What's going on everyone? Welcome to Sunday Test Drive here on American Truck Simulator. Now, as I promised on Wednesday, I'm doing the 579. And I've said before, I'm not going to do a truck unless it's got some goodies to come along with it. It really changes the truck as a whole. And I have one of those changes. It's from Kentucky Boy 1986. It's on the Steam Workshop as well as inside my Google Docs spreadsheet. And it's the Peterbilt 579 Edits. And basically what it does is it adds a slew of new parts for you. And here is the example. You cannot get this layout on your own with a normal SCS truck. Stacks right there behind the door. No skirt. The fenders. The different visors as well as a different chrome fender. You cannot get those options with the normal edit. And it really allows you to customize the truck just a little bit more to where you didn't have that before. Now, the paint I'm also rocking today on this, I would normally keep for a Sunday test drive. But I wanted to talk about it because I also wanted to talk about the company. And this is a paint job that I actually did myself. There are two other paint jobs out here for TMC Trucking. And one is from Polly. And I don't remember who the other one's from, but it is found online on like modsat.com or whatever it is. But the main problem is, for anyone that knows TMC Trucking, that right there on the back, Destination Excellence. That is on the back of all their cabs right above that cabinet headache, headache wreck. So, those trucks didn't have that. One had TMC right across the back, and the other one didn't have anything. To me, that's not correct, it's incorrect, it's not done right. So, I took it, got the template, got the, uh, the logos and everything, found trucks online to model this after, and thankfully, Peter, Kentucky Boy's Peterbilt mod here really helped finish this off because stock SCS, you can't get no skirts. You don't get a setup like this. And this is exactly the same setup that you will see on a TMC truck. Now, one problem I couldn't copy. The logo, TMC. As of late, they've been going to more of a reflective color style. So you see that yellowish gold, or the brownish gold there for the TMC. As well as the numbers as well. That's more of a reflective tape paint scheme now when it comes to the stickers to the to the to the logos that's not something i could replicate so i kept with what the regular version is i know their trucks still have that so you know it, it's fine it'll, it'll work it does its job so that's the one thing i could that is not keeping this true to form to what a tmc truck looks like so other than that I really love how this truck looks. Now there is a Peterbilt 389 version of this out there and I plan on skinning that one as well so maybe actually I will use that for my uh, quick trip later on this week once I get to work on that template and do that one. But uh, for now we'll roll with the 579. The package here is great. I love the way it looks along with the skin. It just really sets it off. So, unfortunately, I do not have a trailer that is uh, labeled TMC. There's R on the back there where it says Fontaine. It'll usually say TMC. I don't know if they use Fontaine Phantoms, but uh, I think they use Benton trailers. But, anyway, let's get to what we're hauling here today, which is spare parts. And that is heading off to Flagstaff. I am currently down here in phoenix so it's not a very long run it's going to be basically just going oh that's actually outside of flagstaff so yeah that's going to be a really short run going over to hms yep really short easy run here so i don't know what's going on around over here while you're over there i'm over here now that was odd but uh yeah that would take care of all that. Actually, I want to go this way. Close that out. Yeah. That'll work. Alright. So, let's get on the road here. I've got 6 hours and 19 minutes to do it. i got to sleep in 7. 
and it's going to take me 5 hours 46 minutes. Now I did keep this truck to the form, true to form as well when it comes to the internals. Uh, normally they have a CAT C15 with 475 horsepower or a Cummins ISX15. There was no CAT C15 option here. So I decided to go with the Cummins C, uh, ISX15 and the only difference with that is, is there was no 400 and 475 horsepower version, it was a 4, 485. Oh, uh, there goes the head tracker. So, time to lock it. Let's keep it for now, maybe that's the only glitch it'll do. Oh, no it's not. So, it's a 485 Cummins ISX underneath the hood. And the transmission is what they normally carry, a uh, or what they normally use, a 13-speed Eaton Fuller. Now I thought I used, I thought I selected green dials here, but apparently I, it's not going to work. I do have another option here for green glow uh, icons. But uh, apparently it wants to stick with the baby blue, or yeah, I guess it is the baby blue.
And it's nice to see. I mean, so many, so many times driving down the road, I see trucks that are beat up and falling apart. And I know not everyone can afford, you know, replace part of a bumper or something. You know, they, the truck parts are not cheap; they're expensive. And same as the labor for that uh, repair. But uh, you know, flatbeds that have tarps flapping around and becoming frayed, uh, bungee cords that are flapping around, or straps that are flapping around. You know. The carelessness that goes into a lot of these loads that I see traveling down the highways is uh, kind of baffling, in my opinion. But uh, I mean, it's not—it's not every truck, it's not every flatbed. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I have seen my fair share. But uh, yeah, a lot of respect for TMC, which is why I was anxious to do this skin and run with this truck here because if I did have any choice in companies to drive for it probably would be TMC and uh, when I was working on this I was joking with the wife saying you know hey they're actually hiring right now uh, I said well for one job I could definitely get into right off the bat with really no extra special anything is a yard jockey out in their yard out there in Des Moines, and it paid decent. Uh, you know, it was basically what you might make in Chicago doing that. But uh, I did see a couple other positions that were out there for regional minimal tarping. Uh, there was another one. Oh, let's see the head tracker. I'm so used to using head tracker. I just turned my head and figured, oh, wait a minute, it's not turning. Uh, another one was actually just south of me in Danville. But I think that was regional. But uh, the requirements as well are less than what I would expect. Especially for regional or local driving positions. Also looking at their website, I see that they are cycling through all new equipment. So everyone, they're selling off all their Peterbilt 379s, and everyone's getting brand new Peterbilt 579s. I'm sure the 589s will remain in service for a little while longer. I did not see any for sale on their equipment page, but uh, they do stand by Peterbilt, and they have for now it looks like there were some older photos of some Kenworths but uh, it looks like for the last 15 20 years their choice in trucks have been Peterbilt's sound 
profile method was used. I mean, which isn't bad, it's not a, a horrible sound. equipped with that. And speaking of other trucks, I happened to come across someone shared on uh, Viper's site, uh, Peterbilt Steve. He's a Peterbilt dealer. I didn't catch from where he's at, but he makes YouTube videos of all the trucks that he has for sale. And one of them that I came across when I was looking at his channel was a, I think it was a 2017 Peterbilt 389 flat top with a, I think it was an 83 inch sleeper. I mean, the, the damn thing, except for the bells and whistles, was a spitting image of my green peat when I had the neon color to it. So, I thought that was pretty trick. Yes, yes, yes. I know you're tired. I was messing with the head again, trying to turn my head, and that's still not working. Alright, so where are they going to have me park this thing now? This is one of my least favorite places to park. And of course, it's going to be all the way over the... Oh no! I forgot this, uh, in this profile, I don't have advanced parking. But there you have it, guys. As I pull in the park here, there's the green light. Oh, I'm back up. There is the TMC Peterbilt 579 edit paint job. I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to upload it yet. I might try to just go ahead and upload it to the Steam Workshop, so we'll see. And if I do a 389, I will do the same with that one. So that is it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you in the next run. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.